Hi witches, so this is a video in two parts actually. You are a patron, you're seeing this now before the ritual happens, um, and you're, you've seen this for about a week now by the time we get to the actual full moon. Um, but, yay, um, we are going to be, talk I'm gonna talk to you guys about my ritual setup. For you guys who are watching it, hello, it is the night of the full moon, hello. Um, but yes, I am going to be talking a little bit today about the new moon ritual that I am performing tonight. Now. During the day, I'm actually going to be at, a, like, in the future, I guess. So when you're watching this right now, probably, I don't really know. Time is weird. So yeah, right now, I guess, technically, um, I am on the way to getting tattooed. I am being tattooed, or I guess if it's really far in the future, I have been tattooed. Um, and I, I booked this appointment not actually knowing it was the day of the new moon. I just thought that was, like, a cool, like, synchronicity. But the working that I'm doing, it's all focused on transformation, and I don't... I don't know like what else beyond you know permanently having an image tattooed on you is more transformative maybe like some more heavy duty body mods but i think you know within the context of what i'm willing to do for myself that is one of the most tra transformative acts i could do um so if, if anyone is interested by the way it is a lord of the rings tattoo and i will post pictures on instagram as soon as it doesn't look gross <laughs> um but yes i think that going through this painful process is like significant to this whole thing as well like i'm kind of paying for this transformation in a way um i i love getting tattooed and it's like a little bit of an adrenaline rush but also very meditative because for me it's a way to kind of reclaim my body and like make it you know mine again i guess if that makes any sense there's a lot of stuff behind that that we don't really need to get into in this video but anyways um Afterwards, I'm going to get home and do a working that involves communing with my deities, um, and I will be doing a small candle spell with each of them. And this is actually something I'm going to keep a little bit private, but you'll see the candles. You can probably guess what I'm working on with each of them. Um, and there isn't really a special technique beyond anointing and burning the chime candles that I'm going to be using. And I'm also going to be doing a large divination. So like the top of like my altar is going to be completely blank, um, besides my deities, my candles, and my offering for the evening. So um, yes, this is gonna be like what my altar is. I, again, am doing a lot of work with transformation, um, stepping into my own self, being more like authentically me, um, and all of that. So yes. Here's my altar, and I hope you guys have a great new moon. I'll see you guys later. I hope everyone can see me okay and hear me okay. Somehow there are still 18 wheelers at nine o'clock at night. But anyways, I just got back home from my tattoo appointment. It went great. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is um, the light, the light of Arendio, given to Frodo by Galadriel, and a bunch of flowers um, around it. So new tattoo um and i've just set up for my new moon altar um i'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys in just a second but i wanted to go over the ritual that i was actually doing today um so each one of my candles um correspond with a different intention um and then i also have two black and white candles and those are just for balance it's actually something that i used earlier in this month uh for like a nice balancing ritual so i'm trying to burn it then i'm trying to burn it now at the new moon i'm trying to burn it at a the first quarter moon and then the full moon or yes yes that's that's the way it goes i'm also all set up to do a nice big tarot reading for myself as to how i should be moving forward this month um and i have some leftover incense from my cleansing and clearing meditation so i will be lighting that with some intentions as well um so that is kind of what i'm going to be doing today i have some crystals on my altar I have uh some deity offerings and stuff so i'm gonna just flip it around and show you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow uh when i can kind of reflect on the ritual that i've done